everyone. It's Adela La Sherilyn Dell, your divorce lawyer here to help you turn fear into power when happily ever after fades away. So I actually just finished a video talking about exclusive use and occupancy um, and orders of protection and how they're used to um, eject somebody from a home. But I need to talk about the flip side. You know, suppose you are the person who is the um, subject of an order of protection um, to try to eject you from your own home. Suppose you're the person who has your spouse file an exclusive use and occupancy motion against you saying that it, the house has become so riddled with strife that it's no longer physically or mentally safe for the person to, for you two to live together. Well, you need an attorney. <laughs> Um, most people will, th that who speak with me or who, who um, have legal strategy sessions with me will say, well, she didn't, you know, force me to hire her. She's not trying to get every case that comes in. And that's true. But in the situation where your house um, and your access to it is in jeopardy, I almost always tell people you need to have an attorney. Because what happens in if you are the subject of an order of protection is that if your spouse or significant other is given a stay away order, once you're served with that order, generally by the sheriff's office or even by local police, you are essentially walked out of your house immediately. You basically have the amount of time to get the clothes on your back buttoned up, get some toiletries, maybe get an outfit for the next day, and then the cops are walking you out. And so in that situation, you most you almost always want to run into court um, when the hearing is, and generally the hearing is, is within three days in the state of New York. Um, you almost always want to run into court and, first of all, not agree to being kicked out and ask for what we call an exclusion hearing. Okay, and that's where the other person has to show the basis for you being ejected from your home. Okay, this is very serious stuff because if that person prevails on the um, exclusion, you are out. Okay, until such time as the order of protection itself is heard in court, which could be months in the state of New York, it goes a lot faster in the state of New Jersey because there's a mandated time within which the entire case has to be heard at trial. That's not the case for the state of New York. All right. So I have had clients come in that say to me, oh yeah, I just consented to just be out because I don't want to, I don't want to deal with this. But then two months, three months, four months, five months goes by and he or she is sleeping on their mom's couch or in somebody else's house. And, you know, they get frustrated because, you know, people's welcome wears and they want to get back to their homes. And, and so the fact that they have consented to be out is really, really working a hardship on them. So in those situations, always hire someone to help you navigate the family law and matrimonial law process. Okay. I hope that this video helped. If you like the video, please click like. If you think that you know somebody who needs this information or you just want to spread the word, click share. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.